All right, guys, let's see how we can uh, set up and run a Laravel under Docker. We'll be using very interesting approach where our Laravel application uh, will be uh, just packaged with one Nginx server. In this case, we will not need to have installed Composer or NPM or any other uh, packages on our local system. So let's see the compose file of our uh, services. We have an Nginx service using the stable Alpine version of Nginx. And uh, we'll be able to use this uh, uh, Nginx web server on port 8080. So basically here we'll be browsing our a lot of our application we are mapping uh, uh, one internal directory where we will place our application uh, inside of the var vv html of the container about the configuration of the nginx uh, what's interesting here is that uh, we'll be passing all the incoming php requests uh, towards the php service on port 9000 this means that uh, Later on, uh, here is our PHP service. We are exposing port 9000 and uh, this will be served to our user. So that's the basically the connection between the Nginx and the PHP. Then this is our MySQL service. We're using uh, MySQL, we're exposing a port and we are setting up the default root user and password as well as our database and uh, its uh, user then we have uh, two images for the composer again we are using the official composer image and for the npm what's interesting is that uh, we are setting up composer uh, to start working from the varvv html uh, inside of the container and for the npm we also are setting the working there and uh, we're also specifying that we would like to start immediately this npm command here via the entry point. So with the artisan container, we are just uh, running this command php uh, var vv html artisan. So by using docker compose, it allows us to have uh, different services, which will be able to interact with our uh, main uh, container nginx. So this allows us to be very dynamic and to uh, change versions of those services without interacting with the main version of the site. So now we can go to the uh, command prompt and from here we'll create one directory source. Well, we'll be placing uh, our Laravel project. By using the following command, we're creating one uh, container which will be deleted afterwards. Here we're using the composer service already specified in our docker compose yaml file and uh, we are running uh, compose create project inside of the current directory using uh, the laravel uh, package so as we can see the composer is auto downloading the files and setting up the project once again we don't use a local version of composer in our machine we are creating a container and we're using uh, the version from within the container. So here are the project uh, package dependencies also installed. And now if we take a look at the directory inside, we have the project installed. Once it's installed, we can uh, uh, just build the rest of the containers and uh, bring up all the compose file as a daemon running. We'll wait for this process also to uh, run. We see we're building the PHP container and uh, all the other containers are created and running. If we type uh, docker container ps, we see that uh, we have uh, the nginx container running on port 8080 so we can browse uh, this container right now all right we're browsing the container and we see the following error we have no permissions to access the log files and this is a restriction a security one which uh, Warwell imposes uh, uh, let's see how we can uh, fix this basically if we take a look uh, 
once again at the files of the directory uh, we see that they are owned and uh, they belong to the group of root and this is our lo local directory we can also go to the container with the following command uh, we run the interactive terminal into the nginx container and we run uh, shell and here we can go to var vv and uh, let's take a look at the files they have the following owner in group let's go to the html directory and see what is inside we see that all the files have been mapped directly uh, how they are from our host directory and also see here inside of the storage uh, that uh, for the group and for the others we don't have write permissions and that's what Warwell is complaining about uh, we can change this directly from within the container or let's see first how many users we have inside so uh, let's see uh, it's a password uh, so we see that we have the user nginx which is the main user browsing the files and uh, what about the groups we have uh, WW data uh, group so our next goal will be to set up a user of nginx and a group of WW uh, data uh, here and also to set up the permissions uh, for the uh, storage directory correctly so now we will exit from the container and we will use the following command inside of the nginx container we'll be running the following uh, line we are changing uh, uh, from root uh, to nginx and from root group to www data and we are doing this recursively all right let's now refresh if we can uh, successfully browse our project and still we see permission denied this is because we need to fix also the permissions of this uh, storage directory and so i'll type again docker exec minus it nginx and here i'll type the following command so it will find the storage directory and it will modify the permissions so the group owners can also um, be able to write to this uh, directory and i have to write the full path var vv html all right let's go and refresh our browser now and we see we can now browse successfully our laravel installation all inside of the container all right next interesting comment since we have already npm as a container we can run npm install and since it has a path which points to our laravel installation as you can remember the working dir is set to var vvhtml for the npm container so running the following command will cause the npm container to install all the needed dependencies for our laravel project you can also run npm uh, dev in order to pre-compile the laravel mix and the next thing we'll take a look is uh, how we can uh, create migrations again by using external container in this line we are using one container artisan which will be removed after performing artisan migrate and this is our last described uh, service inside of docker compose basically we are running a shortcut of the command php artisan so let's try to run the command now and we see that we have exceptions that's because we haven't configured our laravel environment variable so we can just type uh, sudo nano.env and uh, we need to correct uh, certain variables we will not connect to local host but uh, to our mysql container and we need to change the password to secret in order for the mysql queries to work correctly we're saving the environmental file and again we'll run the command and now again we see an error if we type uh, docker uh, ps we don't see our mysql container let's start it now 
so we will just uh, start the service and demonize it let's see now we see that the MySQL is listening on the proper port and let's redo the php artisan migrate command and we see that the migration table has been created successfully and we are able to interact with the MySQL uh, database so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the information and uh, this is an interesting way on how we can interact uh, with containers by separating all the dependencies uh, from the project and all the other needed utilities in uh, separate containers it's also a very useful uh, technique that you can use afterwards in order to run all your services inside of uh, Kubernetes. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you like the information you can subscribe to the channel.